Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a what's in my bag video. Honestly, I've not had a what's in my bag video for three years. I literally had one just after I got married. I might have had another one since, I don't know, but I've been married for three years now. Hey, 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 anniversary just came up, hey, hey, hey. But um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I wanna do a what's in my bag. I have a new bag, okay? Which is one of the reasons, obviously, why I'm doing this. You can see that I'm very, very happy. It is a designer bag. It is a spring um, kind of coloured bag. And I basically buy a designer bag probably once a year. I do a lot of saving. I saved up a lot for this bag. It is the Balenciaga Le Dix Cartable Leather Bag. And this colour is like a khaki colour. I have been saving and I've worked a long time. And I really do put thought into when I buy a designer bag. But I really wanted to get my myself a really spring and fun bag and I've really been liking Balenciaga I think it's a really chic brand and I love bags that are really understated it's got um, gold gold and silver hardware and it's also got gold and silver hardware at the top and then it can also be worn as a strappy bag as well so I love it and I wanted a nice springtime bag anyway let's go inside my bag and see what we have in it and obviously my bag is never normally this neat. This is a new bag and I moved everything over the neatest way possible, okay? Now this is how I wish my bag was all the time. I, I wish, okay? Number one, I have a diary. It says with freedom, box, flowers and the moon, who could not be happy? And this is actually just a Kate Spade um, kind of diary notepad. Now the reason I carry a notepad is that I am someone who can get a little bit stressed out if you guys don't know. I have a lot of thoughts in my head, like I'm always thinking. And so I found that having a diary or a pen and paper always to hand means that I'm always able to kind of write stuff down. And I literally travel on the train all the time and I'm always, always writing stuff down. I have one of these rolly pencils. And the reason I have a pencil because I'm always scared about losing my pen lids and I always end up drawing on the inside of my bag so I hate that so this is one of those like swishy swishy whatever it just breaks off um, but I love them I feel like my writing looks extra pretty when I have a pencil like this so after that I have my wallet now because this is a smaller bag I have a much bigger Michael Kors wallet that I put my bigger bag but for a smaller bag I just have this little card case and it is a Liberty of London card case I think I got this free I think I got this free from somewhere. And I basically have my debit card. I also have my driving license, my full term. You guys don't need to see my name, but I've got my driving license. My picture's actually pretty. I remember that that day Esther did my makeup and I was like, oh, let's go take a picture. And I look really nice on that day. And um, inside it, I also have, um, it is purities, I have allergies. And sometimes all of a sudden I might go somewhere and I'd be like, I'm allergic to something in the air and I can feel like the back of my throat itching or my eye itching. So I always have um, allergy tablets with me because I don't know why, I'm like Hitch in that film and then he just puffs up, like that happens to me. <laughs> and my Waitrose card. Now, if you, uh, from the UK, you need to get yourself a Waitrose card. The reason being is obviously you get points when you shop, but every time you go in, you can get a free tea or coffee um, with your Waitrose card. So I would definitely advise anyone and everyone to do that if you like fruit tea and coffee. Um, I also have a perfume. This is the Tom Ford Mandarin D Amalfi. Um, it's only a really small one, it's 30 millimeters, which is why it is in my bag. This is the most gorgeous, like, oh. It smells so like fresh. It's just got a really fresh floral smell. And I don't usually like like, it smells so good. It's just got just the freshness. And I don't usually like fresh smells. I usually like um, quite sweet smells, but this is delicious. Like it smells so, so, so good. And the bottle is so pretty. Is this not like the most gorgeous bottle Ever, like yes so after that I have my phone charger extra charger thing here it's a bit crusty sorry guys and to be honest I really raved about this over the Christmas time it's not the best 
it has so many little loose bits that like end up falling and flying out that's a little bit annoying but it does have a good mirror in it which is great because I don't have a makeup bag in here because it is a smaller bag and I basically just plug this into my phone or into my laptop and it basically keeps it charged when my battery is running down but the worst thing is you have to remember to charge this thing if you don't you have two dead batteries in your bag and that has happened to me so many times and it gets so 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 annoying after that I have some hand cream um, I always have ashy hands you can probably tell now you'll probably let like, Patricia your hands are already ashy I don't know why my hands are just They've, I've worked hard. I was worked hard as a child and that is why I have tough hands. But this is from Hotel Chocolate and it's the Tea Jardine Conditioning Body Butter with Cocoa Butter and Argan Oil. Um, I just have to have a hand cream in my bag to help me during those times where my hands might just be crackling, you know. After that I have my iPhone 6 in my bag i literally have only just got this but to be honest i don't really like the iphone 6 that much if i'd be really really honest with you i find it a little bit slippery and a bit annoying and stuff like that but um the camera quality is really good i also like to carry a little comb with me because this is a smaller bag this isn't a full size bag so i don't have a brush but i just have like this mini comb i don't even know where this is from i think it's from the pharmacy and it's just like when my hair is looking a little bit peppercorny you know just <laughs> scrape out this peppercorns and just neaten up my hair as well majority of what's left in my bag is actually lip product <laughs> because I basically hold on let me just organize these there's so many lip products here it's crazy I basically I'm not fussed about reapplying makeup when I go out um but I'm always gonna reapply any lipstick or any lip balm because the worst thing you can have is ashy lips when you're out in public so I have um the Giorgio Armani it is the lip tint this is a color 500 this is in my everyday makeup um look i love this love 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 this but it does need a lip liner um i'm gonna link that video so you can look at my like everyday face kind of look my kiko lip liner in 515 i always put these two together a lot of the times i wear hats out and sunglasses because i think i'm angelina jolie not because a lot of the time i just haven't put any makeup on and i always always get seen by you guys i feel like i scare you you're like Patricia I'm like yeah yeah it's me I'm sorry I look crazy right now I've got no makeup on I'm always giving some excuses I always wear like glasses and like do my lips and like maybe my brows so I always have these two as a combination I also have the Urban Decay lip glosses this is a color called Besso I've had these for ages but they're really really nice to just fling on naturally you don't need a lip liner on anything and um, that's why this is always in my bag after that I also have Plumful from MAC I love to go for strong dark colours because they do make you look quite vibrant but um, Plumful is a really nice natural purpley colour from MAC that I like to wear all the time and I also have a mini lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury this colour is called Penelope Pink and it's a really really nice nude I have three different ones of these I got those over the Christmas time and finally I've got the most humongoid set of keys in here as well but basically my trick is to put all my keys in one location because I found that I kept losing my keys because I used to have my, like my little house keys then I had a little car key whatever I just put every key on here I've got my little Mercedes key ring on there home keys and I also have my Waitrose like this is how important getting my free tea and coffee is to me I have a mini Waitrose card and just in case I um, don't have my Waitrose card with me my car keys and then I have this little Aspinall key ring thingamabob here I don't know it's just another thing to have on your keys and I find the bigger your key load the less likely you are to lose them I don't know why but it's really really worked for me by putting every key into like one big bunch there so guys basically that is my bag it is fully empty now now it's not the biggest bag it's more like a mini bag as you can see there but I really do quite like the thought of not having to carry so much around with me and if I'm good I should be able to carry a little bag like this around with me all the time so guys I just wanted to mention if you didn't watch my last video or a few of my last videos I mentioned the fact that 
I worked with the charity Childline on a campaign called FAPZ, FAPS, which is all about porn and how it can impact um, children and young people and how it can affect their lives and relationships. They basically have a set of cartoons. I actually voiced one of the characters in the cartoons and it was a really cool and interesting day. And I just think it's a really important thing to kind of educate young people on this kind of stuff. So I would definitely recommend that you guys check it out. I will link it in the description bar below. Also, if you yourself are a young person and it might be something you want to share with a young person you might know, then definitely do. It's a really fun, really cool, really alternative set of cartoons that tackles a real issue. So make sure you guys check that out. But that is today's video done. What's in my bag? It's been a long time. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye. So guys, today we are going to slow it down and I'm going to share with you my relaxing evening routine. Lots of you have asked about this, so I hope you enjoy.